something like uh, the thing you're trying to reverse engineer. Here's how you clone a PC. IBM had made it easy to copy. The microprocessor was available off the shelf from Intel, and the other parts came from many sources. Only one part was IBM's alone, a vital chip that connected the hardware with the software. Called the ROM BIOS, this was IBM's own design, protected by copyright and by Big Blue's army of lawyers. Compaq had to somehow copy the chip without breaking the law. First, you have to uh, decide how the ROM works. So what we had to do was have an engineer sit down with that code and through trial and error, we'd write a specification that said, here's how the BIOS ROM needs to work. It couldn't be close. It had to be exact. So there was a lot of detail testing that went on. You test how that all-important chip behaves and make a list of what it has to do. Now it's time to meet my lawyer, Claude. I've examined the internals of the ROM BIOS and written this book of specifications. Now I need some help because I've done as much as I can do and you need to explain what's next. Well, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the book of specifications myself, but the first thing I can tell you, Robert, is that you're out of it now. You, you are contaminated. You are dirty. You've seen the product that's uh, the original work of authorship. You've seen the target product. So now from here on in, we're going to be working with people who are not dirty. We're going to be working with so-called virgins who are going to be operating in the clean room. I All certainly right? don't qualify there. Yeah, I, I imagine you don't. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to hire a group of engineers who have never seen the IBM ROM BIOS. They have never seen it. They've never operated it. They know nothing about it. Have you ever before attempted to disassemble, decompile, or to uh, in any way, shape, or form reverse engineer any IBM equipment? Oh, uh, no. Uh, have you ever tried to disassemble or... Reverse this is the Silicon Valley virginity test, and good virgins are hard to find. You understand that in the event that we discover that the information you're providing us is inaccurate, you're subject to discipline by the company, and that can include but not be limited to termination immediately. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. Okay. That, uh, After the virgins are deemed intact, they are forbidden contact with the outside world while they build a new chip, one that behaves exactly like the one in the specification. In Compaq's case, it took 15 senior programmers several months and cost $1 million to do the reverse engineering. In November 1982, Rod Canyon unveiled the result. What I've brought today is a Compaq portable computer. It's when Bill Murto, another Compaq founder, got a plug on a cable TV show, their selling point was clear, 100% IBM compatibility. It turns out that all major uh, and popular software runs on the IBM personal computer or the Compaq portable computer. That extends through all of the software for IBM. Uh, yes. It all works on the Compaq. It, it, Compaq was an instant hit. In their first year, on the strength of being exactly like IBM, but a little cheaper, they sold 47,000 PCs. In our first year of sales, we, we set an American business record, I guess maybe a world business.